I was coming unglued in the middle of a meeting. I was so stressed. I was so frustrated. The client had no idea in this meeting, but I internally was losing my mind. I mean, have you ever been there in that meeting? Like, you just can't believe this is what's happening. I was so frustrated. And then I realized I am believing some things that are not true. Your self-talk completely determines how you approach things. And in that moment, my self-talk was, this meeting is never going to be over. I'm trapped here forever. I mean, that's not true. They had a hard stop at four. You knew it was gonna be over. But emotionally, I was believing that lie. So now here's what you do with your self-talk. Before you can ever fix it, you first have to notice that's even there. So when we talk about self-talk, the first thing that you do is acknowledge that not every thought that you think is true. We let these the self-talk just flit across our minds as if everything that comes through our brain is true. And it's not. So what I want you to do is just start noticing. Just start noticing. What is this thought? And the big question that you ask is, is it true? That's how you start to harness your self-talk. It begins with the question, is it true? Now, as you start to fix it, I highly recommend a coach. I would love to be that person that walks through it with you. So in the comments, I have got a booklet for you that will help you identify some of the self-talk that you might experience, but I'd really love to talk with you about it. So if you'd like, I'd love to share an hour with you just talking about what is your self-talk like, is it true, and how do we change it?